Hi, historians. We had a short week last week, just a few days, but we concentrated on the Revolutionary War, United States War for Independence, and how the war shifted from the Northeast, in this area, to the West and to the South. We also watched a video about John Paul Jones and his famous quote, I have not yet begun to fight where it looks like all is lost and yet the underdog succeeds and overtakes his opponent to an amazing victory. The British in last week's section changed their strategy. They wanted to concentrate their efforts in the South. They believed they had a lot more support in America in the Southern colonies than they had in the Northern colonies. And pretty much that is true. But again, out in the countryside, that's where they're gonna meet their resistance. And they move all over the South. As you see right here, this is Cornwallis right here. He's moving all over the South fighting. He's meeting people like the Swamp Fox, Francis Marion, and they're just chewing him up a little bit at a time. So he eventually takes his troops to Yorktown right here. He believes this is a good place to wait because the British had dominance of the sea. He believes this would be a very good place to hold up and wait for reinforcements from the British Navy. It makes a lot of sense, it's right here open to the Atlantic Ocean, but he's going to miscalculate something. We'll talk about that later next week when we review section four, lesson four, the Battle of Yorktown. This week, we're going to study lesson four, the final years of the war, which we said concentrated in the South and ended in Yorktown. We will see a video in the middle of the week and a little worksheet that goes along with it called The World Turned Upside Down, which chronicles the end of the Revolutionary War. Then on Friday, we'll have a practiced workbook test on pages 194 to 198 of the workbook. Now for you new students and for you returning students, understand that the end of each chapter in the workbook there's a review section that covers most of the material that we read about during the chapter. It outlines everything. I would look that over very carefully. That answers most of the questions in the practice test. And if you can't find it in the review section of the workbook, then you can certainly find it in the worksheets that we've done or just in the text of the workbook. Then, Next week, we will have a crossword review and a test on chapter six. Thank you very much, historians. See you next week.